Tongaloy, you offer the, the do twist ball and I'm going to introduce it as an indexable end mill but it's so much more isn't it, very versatile. Very versatile tool, um, the nice thing is that this tool uh, can be classed as either an end mill or a face mill, it will t accept two different styles of insert, you can put a high feed insert into this cutter, it's potentially not the best high feed cutter that we have but as a, as a a compromise tool for a customer who's already got it, you can have high feed with this. But what we've really aimed it at are the cutters that are out there with button inserts in. Um, so we're talking about a tool that's got radiuses of 4mm, 5mm and 6mm. So that's aimed at obviously the 8mm, the 10mm and the 12mm buttons. Normally when you're uh, generating surfaces, profiles etc with a button uh, insert, you're normally using around about 120 degrees of the insert. That means effectively you get three indexes out of the insert if you haven't damaged an edge already. With the do twist ball, because of the way that the uh, insert is laid out, it's basically a lozenge insert with two radiuses on one side. It's a double sided insert. You get four corners and you will get use of all four corners. Yeah, with the buttermilk, you know, a lot of the operators, if, if, if you go into the scrap bin, on the button mill, quite often all the edges aren't used, are they? Because it's difficult, some of them discolour, and it's, it's a challenge to see which edges actually been used and which haven't. Yeah, again, that, that, that is quite common practice. Um, I, I know I've done it myself, pick, picked inserts out that haven't been used. Mm -hmm. With this, you know that when you index, you're going to be facing a fresh edge. Mm -hmm. you, there shouldn't be edges that are, are unused. And in terms of the chip fin and you know, the calculation, it's the same really, isn't it? Same as a button mill. It, it is, um, you know, it, this is something that people tend to forget. Um, you've, you, you've sometimes got two compromises to make. You've got the width of cut that you're, you're taking, there's, because there's chip, chip thinning going on there, if you're not, a pro, you know, cutting on the full width of the cutter. Um, and then, of course, yes, as you, as you rightfully say, depending on the depth of cut and how much of the radius you're using, you've got a compound effect. So mm -hmm. you can push the cutter even more. The tool we use today is your shank style, but you know, the offer is a shell mill, how small and how large is the range? The shell mills start at 40 mil and go up to 63. Uh, we start right down at 20 mil on, on, on an end mill style. Mm -hmm. And this, you can see this is almost like a little mould type style tool in. But where else are you selling this tool currently? It can be used for, uh, well it's been used across all sorts of, uh, of materials. Uh, through steels, stainless steels and of course titanium like we've done today. Um, no particular industry, uh, we've, had, we've got customers who are using it in aerospace, we've got people who yes are, are in mould tool using it. Um, the beautiful thing about it is it's a bit of a multi-purpose tool because you can face mill with it um, after all. And we've done a few components today and the insert there's no wear on it at all. So and obviously this is titanium which is soft but it still can be quite difficult to machine. So what sort of data are you running at? Well that's a TI6AL4V which is the common garden mm -hmm. titanium that you know a lot of people come across. Today we've been machined that at 50 metres a minute surface speed. Uh, we've been running at around about 0.42 per tooth um, which uh, works out around about 1450 millimetres a minute mm -hmm. um, for the face milling and for the profiling. Mm -hmm. We were being conservative and we can push a little bit harder than that. Yeah, it's on a grob machine and you could barely hear it cutting, couldn't you? Very soft cutting action as well. Yeah, that's the, that's the beauty of today. We've got a, a real meaty machine there mm -hmm. um, with lots of power that we, we could utilise. And for a roughing process, quite an adequate finish as well. Yeah, quite an adequate finish. There's no reason why you couldn't actually slow that feed down mm -hmm. um, and produce quite a nice service finish and then of course go into your usual scanning mm -hmm. mode using a, a ball nose cutter or, or one of the new Circle 7 tools. <laughs>